First up on our list, we have the Artec Eva. If you want it, it'll cost you 20 grand. Oh, that's a big number. Well, let's see why it's so expensive. Well, the Artec Eva is a 3D scanner. You can digitize any object. The price is not yet available. Do you need a 3D computer model of your dog's face? Just scan him, and you can use his digital face for whatever mad scientist experiment you're doing. Now, you may be wondering, is it even safe to scan a person? The inventors wanted to know, too, so they went to the White House and scanned Obama's head. And he's still okay, so we know it's safe. What can you do with these scans? You can put them in a 3D printer. Now you can have a bust of Obama's face ready to go. But the scanner's also built for engineers. Wouldn't it be great if you could just replicate parts? Well, you can with Artec. What if you're missing a leg? Weird question, you might think. This thing's built for prosthetics as well. You can get a 3D model, then print out a leg. Cool times we live in. Another cool thing about the Artec is that it comes in multiple models. For example, it has a booth model. The others are mainly different in shape. One even has a built-in touchscreen. So now you have options. Okay, next item. Imagine a robot villain in a video game or movie. Does it fly? What weapons does it have? Well, this is the TF Wasp. It's a drone that'll make you afraid to go outside. But if you want the power behind this machine, it'll cost you $1,500. A little pricey, but there's a reason why. I'm just gonna say these words. Flamethrower, drone. You do not want to be on its bad side. It's a drone that spits fire. It can shoot up to 25 feet away. If you make it shoot nonstop fire, you'd have flames flying out for a minute and a half. It's also built to survive the coolest and hottest conditions. This allows it to be able to handle any weather. This thing is operated by a remote that shows camera feed. It allows you to see exactly where your drone is going. Perfect precision for setting fire to trees. No need to cut trees down anymore. Just burn them up. Maybe there's a wasp nest in your yard. It's time to fight fire with fire. Fight the wasp with a tea wasp. You can straight up torch that nest. Problem solved. So if you want a terrifying machine of fiery vengeance, the tea wasp is here for fear. The next invention is the Stellina. So let me ask you, did you want to be an astronaut when you were a kid? Well, obviously you're not going to space anytime soon and unless you're an astronaut, that is. But $4,000 can get you a pretty neat substitute. The Stellina is a product by Vaonis, a company based in France. Its founder, Cyril Dupoy, was in college studying aerospace. He was bothered by all the telescopes because they were really complicated and cumbersome. So our buddy Cyril was all like, let's start a telescope revolution. And now we have Stellina. So yes, it's a telescope. And when you find something really cool out in the ether, you can snap a picture of it. That's right, it's also a camera. Now, along with this telescope, you can download a free app. That way you can store all your photos of comets and secret alien spacecraft. This allows you to share them with your friends. So if you want high quality photos of the night sky and the vast expanse that is our universe, the Stellina is waiting for you. Our next product is the new type. So a lot of you watching this are probably using MacBooks. Are the keyboards uncomfortable? Well, if you're willing to pay $150, the people at Nufi are here to help. The new type is a keyboard specifically for Mac users. It clips onto a normal keyboard and fits all the keys you normally have. It makes the keyboard higher up than normal, so the keyboard can be comfortable in any situation. It runs on Bluetooth, so it's easy to use. If you find the normal setup uncomfortable, this could be good for you. Before this, you had to carry around accessories to make your keyboard comfier. And as far as keyboards go, this one types faster and more accurately. It can light up with customizable patterns and colors. That's pretty cool, I'd say. Along with Max, this thing also works for phones and tablets. And to make this puppy look fancy, they built a case for the keyboard. This keeps it protected and also works as a stand-in for that tablet I mentioned earlier. The new type is designed to be effective but minimalist at the same time. And last but not least on our list, we have the Tempest. It's a home weather system invented by Weatherflow. It's built to predict all the weather patterns around you, just like the news stations do it, so you know the weather without relying on them. Right now, there's no price decided. It handles stuff like rain, temperature, humidity, lightning, clouds, and more. And like many things on the list, there's an app to go along with it. It'll show you a forecast with rain, temp, and cloud cover. But how does it work? 
Long story short, it has a multitude of sensors. When it's calculating wind speed, it'll update every three seconds and tell you the wind speed. All these sensors are solar powered. In addition to being solar, it'll hook up to your Wi-Fi connection to keep you constantly informed. Now, most places have extreme weather. Some places have hurricanes, some tornadoes, others have earthquakes. The Tempest will predict these as well and send the data to the National Weather Service. It's trying to keep people informed of any possible natural disasters, very considerate of them. But there's more. The Tempest can hook up to a smart home to change thermostats. This is to make sure that they don't waste electricity and can take advantage of the outside temperature. It'll also run your sprinklers, close your garage, it'll even remind you to take sunblock. Well, that's polite, isn't it? But one of the best things about this machine, it offers the data dividend. You get paid just for keeping data for them to use and learn from. That's cash money right there. So if this thing does pay for itself, why not check it out? So those were five incredible inventions. Tell me in the comments which was your favorite. And if you enjoyed this little video here, leave a like. And if you want to see some more, subscribe and hit the bell for new videos. That's all I have for today. Goodbye.